excited to start working with you and learn about the specific objectives of your work as well as your study design. I'm looking forward to it as well. It would be great if you could help me with the analysis for my dissertation. This is my last big hurdle and I didn't have time to take more than one stats class. I'm happy to collaborate with you as a part of my paid work with the College of Agriculture, but we should discuss expectations and contributions to your dissertation work. I want to make sure we're on the same page as well as your graduate committee. Actually, here, I can show you my data right now. Um, this should help you get started with the numbers and figure out how long things are going to take, right? I'm happy to go through the data with you and provide suggestions, but I will not be able to actually do the analysis for you. I see you have repeated observations over time for each animal, uh, using one row for each individual with columns for different data collection times. It's helpful during data collection. This is called wide format. In data analysis, we need long format. I can provide you with some useful resources to help explain it. What statistical software do you plan on using? Long format? My data set's already pretty long. I'm not sure why I would want to make it longer. I use Excel. Can't I just send you this spreadsheet and have you fix it up? I'm not able to take on data cleaning and data management tasks. Formatting data is a really useful skill for future researchers. I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. Does that sound reasonable? I guess. It's just not what I was expecting when I signed up for statistics help. I don't have the money to pay someone to do this for me. I understand the funding aspect can be difficult. I can advise you and students in your college for no charge, but I'm expected to find continued grant support as a part of my salary, as well as charge fees for data analysis. Statistical support is generally not free of charge. This is a great reason why you want to write in statistical support into your grant proposals, as well as develop relationships with statisticians early in your career. Yeah, I'm starting to see that. I sure wish we had learned more about issues like this in grad school. I had no idea. I never thought about who was paying for the statistician's time. In the meantime, I would suggest going to your advisor and finding out what statistical analysis they expect you to do and what you can get help from a statistician on. You're going to need more sophisticated methods than what you learned in one semester of stats class. Uh, for example, um, in addition to the repeated measures, you have a binary yes-no outcome variable. Okay. Thanks for your suggestion to have that conversation. So you can assist me by providing advice regarding the data formatting and analysis, but not do it for me, right? That is correct. Anything beyond that, you would need to get an okay from your committee and would require paying an hourly rate. I'll share notes with you and send you the links for the resources I mentioned. When you're ready to meet again, let's ask your advisor to join us.